I'm going to be sharing my evening with you today so you can see a little glimpse into my typical productive evening routine. Productive evening routine, we'll call it that. Do I have much of a routine at the moment? Not really. In terms of my thesis, I've been doing most of my writing up in the evenings at the moment. I've become semi-nocturnal, I guess you could say. So this is what I do on a typical evening. My life is just writing at the moment. Also, it's the evening. Well, almost. It's like just after four and it's still late outside. Guys, it's still late outside, I'm so thrilled about it. Even though I'm not personally outside, I love seeing the lightness outside, so that's great. But we're gonna kick off this evening routine. This is not part of my usual routine. I don't order Amazon parcels all the time, contrary to popular belief, but we do have an Amazon parcel. Please ignore the rest of my living room, but we do have an Amazon parcel right there that I need to unbox. Let's put you there. It's quite a big package. That's what she said. <laughs> I've been buying some kitchen bits and bobs. There's a couple kitchen items that we haven't had since we moved here and we've been here almost two years and it's quite ridiculous to not have a kitchen bin. So um, I bought some kitchen bins. Now I bought three. I could use one for normal rubbish, one for cardboard and one for plastics. So I bought three. They come with these lids, different coloured lids. I can colour code my rubbish guys, how exciting. And then the actual bins themselves are here. Ah, they're a good size. I don't really know where I'm going to put them all yet, but um, they're like narrow design, which is what I wanted. Oh, I don't want that sticker though. Can I just, maybe I could just face it this way and put the sticker against the wall because I cannot be bothered removing that. But I think we're gonna do blue for, blue for landfill general waste because that matches the color of the landfill bin outside. <laughs> Where are we gonna put these bins? Um, guys, I know this isn't part of an evening routine really, but this is the most excitement I'm gonna get tonight. So let's just allow it. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, I think that this should fit. This should fit in that little gap there next to the fridge. Oh. Guys, it fits perfectly. Oh, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Here's the bin next to the fridge. Fits perfectly. Can still open the door to the full extent pretty much. Nice! We have a bin and now we can stop putting bin liners on the bloody floor. The other two, I don't really know where I'm going to put them right now. For now they kind of fit side by side next to the radiator. I don't really want to keep them here though, like I don't mind that one being there but this one's like touching the radiator and I feel like that's not a good idea. We are going to be moving about some furniture but some bobs eventually. I'm going to be doing a big decluttering my entire life series um, eventually and I'm going to be transforming some of the rooms in this flat. That series will be coming at some point in the near future, but uh, for now, we have a thesis to write, of course. So I know it's 4pm, but the usual routine is that we make coffee before we get into some evening writing. I recently did a big restock of my coffee pods, so we have enough to last, hopefully, till my thesis is submitted. So. <laughs> Put in a coffee pod. Uh, need a mug. Should we crack open the spring mug? It is technically spring. Kind of. It is. What's the date? It's the 16th of March. Should we crack open? I haven't used this since last spring slash summer. It's got a bunch of things in it. But I think it's time to crack open the spring mug, guys. Oh no! I'm an idiot. 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 Guys, I completely forgot that I hit the button of that coffee machine, meaning that coffee was going to spurt out any second, and I didn't have a mug under it. A bunch of coffee has went into the little liquid drainer thing. 
This is a great start to my routine, guys. This is what I mean. I don't have a routine. My routine is chaos. And also I was trying to, there's something stuck at the bottom of this, so I was trying to clean this, which is why I was distracted. Oh well, we captured some of the coffee. We captured like maybe 60% of it, but the other 60% of the coffee is. That's where the other 30 to 40% of my coffee went. So I might do a second pod, but is that a bit crazy? Maybe I should just, oh, guys, okay. We're not using the spring mug today. Maybe I'll just like press it again to get some more coffee out of the pod. How do these pods work? I don't know. We're just gonna reset it and we go again. <laughs> anyway, can we run that disastrous start to the video? We have almond milk and banana flavor drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, today. <laughs> and then the spurt of almond milk. Give it a stir. I don't know how strong this coffee is gonna be because I feel like most of the actual coffee comes out at the beginning of the pod, which was captured not in a mug. So. Another thing I've been liking having for caffeine in my evenings is energy drink. Oh, I'm not really like a big energy drink person, but at the moment it feels necessary sometimes. But I don't think I'm going to have one tonight because I, I don't know how late I want to stay up tonight. I feel like I've just got back into a good kind of sleeping routine and I don't know if I want to mess that up. But I have been enjoying these... Um, Clean energy drinks. The fact that they're called clean makes me feel better about the fact that they're energy drinks. Um, I only really have one of these a day, but um, this one's berry flavor and this one's tropical flavor. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's equivalent to one cup of coffee. It's got like vitamins and stuff in it. Natural caffeine, whatever that means. <laughs> So I sometimes like having one of them instead of coffee, but I don't know, I'm in the mood for a warm cup of coffee right now, so we're going for coffee. Um, it's also Saturday today, so I haven't done any work today yet. Normally on like a weekday, I'll have been working in the morning and slash or that afternoon, but I haven't done any work yet. So <laughs> this is a typical evening routine at the weekend, whatever. You'll get this, it's the same gist. I do the same thing every day, really. Um, I'm currently just looking over some of my to-dos that I need to do, but um, I drank a little bit of the coffee, right? And um, I don't know, there's something just off about it. Maybe the fact that I'm missing half of it. I could make another coffee, but I just, I don't want to endure that trauma again. So we're just gonna have an energy drink. The berry one's my favorite. The can, however, is a little bit dented. Bit like my brain right now, Ooh. but let's. I'll give you a little um, energy drink ASMR if I can open it. <laughs> you are kidding. I have. You cannot script this. <laughs> it hasn't even opened. I think the world doesn't want me to have caffeine today, clearly. This is meant to be the start of a productive evening routine, and. Um, this is not very productive. <laughs> it also didn't fizz, so is this going to be off as well? I don't know. You're also out of focus. Oh, goodness gracious, this video. Should I just stop now? <laughs> right, um, let me just try and stab it with this. There we go. I mean, it tastes fine. I normally drink it from the can, but on this one special occasion, since you're here, uh, <laughs> we're gonna put it into a glass. It's just clear. It kind of tastes like sparkling water, which is why I think it's like good for me when really it's probably not. Okay guys, we're waiting to write a to-do list because I can't really do anything unless I write a to-do list for it. <laughs> it's like I just, it's like I, I just don't know how to function without some sort of direction in my life um, and that's why we need a to-do list for everything that I do. <laughs> I'll show you my desk right now. So I write like basically everything on these little bits of paper and then I just, they just, they just stay on my desk. They just stay on my desk until I decide, you know what? That's maybe a few too many bits of little pieces of paper and then I get rid of them. Should I get rid of them now? Probably. <laughs> don't, oh, do we act? No, we don't need that. So we're just gonna, I do maybe need this. So let's, oh, we'll get rid of that. Okay. 
Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, that's notes from my meeting, so I'll keep that. This is to do with from the event. Tables. I think I'll keep that. And okay, get rid of that. Keep that. Get rid of that. And then here's a, a nice little blank one for us to write down our little to-do list for the evening. Um, also, guys, I made, I completely forgot to film this, but I made my vitamin C concoction. A vitamin C tablet and cherry squash. Yeah, let's, uh, let's write a to-do list. <laughs> Because of this, what if I do this? What if I do this? Why is it so dark? Oh, that's better. Okay, hi. I've written my to-do list. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do all these things tonight, but basically I've written down everything that's left to do for one of my chapters. Because one of my chapters, guys, it's so close to being finished. It's so close to being finished. I don't think it needs much more work. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight bullet points here. Some of them are shorter than others. I'm so close to being finished. Um, and it, basically tonight my aim is to get as much of this chapter done as possible. It would be great to even finish the chapter, but I'm not gonna put those high expectations on us from this early on <laughs> because it likely won't happen. I'm just gonna work through these bullet points here and that's gonna be the goal tonight. We're not gonna look at any of the other chapters. I'm just gonna focus on this chapter because I want it. And my supervisors also want it done, so <laughs> let's get it done. First, we're gonna check over my method. My method is pretty much fully written, right? I just need to kind of check over it and also like double check all the equations and things like that because there's a lot of equations. There's pages and pages and pages of equations and derivations and like, there's pages and pages and pages of these. So like, for example, like this, this whole thing, which I've got stapled here, is just this chapter. Yeah, this is just this chapter. And this is 30 pages long for this method. And we also have some additional random bits of paper with equations that I forgot to put in this. So, I know that all of these are correct because I've been through the, these were the equations that I wrote out like at the beginning of my PhD over and over and over again and checked over them with supervisors and things like that. So I know that these are correct. I just need to check that I've typed them correct in my method and make sure I've included all the important equations that I've needed to include and all the important assumptions and things like that. Because um, basically this chapter is my first numerical chapter. My PhD is split into three chapters. I've got two numerical methods and an experimental, ugh, and an experimental method. Analyzing some things to do with evaporating droplets. So yeah, I think first things first, we're gonna check through the method, which is always my favorite part to check over because it's just checking equations. And I've actually kind of gone into a good flow of writing equations as well on LaTeX. It's like second nature now. <laughs> And I've like formatted them all so they all look really nice. And I just, oh, yeah, that's that's the first thing on my to-do list. First thing on my to-do list is method check. So that's what we're gonna do first. <laughs>
my brackets to be a little bigger on one of my equations. On LaTeX you can do like a backward slash left bracket and then backward slash right bracket so they fit the contents of the equation like they fit around them well which means if you have fractions the brackets will become bigger to compensate for those fractions. So I wanted them to be a similar size to this equation because it's similar, it's two different flux equations. So I just wrote an empty fraction <laughs> and then it made the brackets bigger. I'm so pleased with myself. I really love finding little things like that, I don't know why. And I didn't even ask ChatGBT to do that, that was using my initiative. Okay, so I have checked through the method. It's not complete yet. There is one or two things that I picked up on that I need to do, but it's currently coming up to 6 p.m. and I've just checked the sunset time online and it says it's at 6.20 p.m. It's still a little bit light outside, so I think I might go for a walk because I haven't been outside the house in like five or six days. Um, and I only ever seem to go out for walks when I film videos, so. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a walk and then I can come home and make dinner and get into more work. I've made it to the walk, to the destination for the walk and it started spitting with rain. <laughs> Tonight is not going as planned, guys. I feel like this walk is going to be a lot shorter than anticipated because I'm not in raining weather gear. Google weather did not warn me that it would start raining. It hasn't been raining all day and it wasn't raining when I walked out my flat and it literally just started spitting now. I'm hoping that it's just a passing thing and that it goes off, but it looks like it might not go off. Either way, we're here, we're way to go for a walk. Nice. I brought my hat, so at least there's that. <laughs> It's very windy and the wind is very cold. It's very cold. I've turned around now. Um, this long walk is now turning into maybe like a short 20 minute walk. But I got outside, which is the main thing. I've turned around now and it's a lot better because the wind is like this way. So when I was walking that way, the wind was like in my face and it was so cold. Whereas this way, it's. Um, it's fine. Anyway, can you believe it's like, what time is it now? It's like quarter past six and it's still light outside. <laughs> this makes me so happy. This is one thing I love about Scotland. It's like the, the days just become so much longer. Like by, by the time June gets here, we'll have light until 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight. And this is why summer is the best season. Honey, I'm home. Whoa, it looks really dark in the background now. Um, is that slightly better? It still looks kind of dark, but I hate putting on the main light. I think I was out walking for a grand total of 22 minutes, but you know, 22 minutes is better than no minutes, am I? Also, came home to another Amazon delivery. Maybe I do have a problem, but... I got some <sighs> Can't believe I can actually put my recycling away in a bit now It's rice, specifically like sushi rice, like short grain Japanese style rice Because 
Japan has um, tainted me for life because now I'm back in the UK and I hate the rice here. The UK rice does not hit the same as. So I got a couple of these off Amazon. These were the cheapest ones, if I'm honest with you. I mean, I could have bought it in like 10 kg bulk for an even cheaper price, but I just thought I would get these. I'm going to make dinner and I'm debating. No, I shouldn't use these for dinner. Or should I? I'm gonna make tofu scramble, but I was originally gonna make it on toast. But I could make a tofu scramble fried rice situation. But if I'm making fried rice, do I use the rice that I've got already? I don't know. I'm away to make dinner now. We're gonna make a tofu. Also, you scramble situation, I think, is what I'm in the mood for. I also can't really be bothered cooking rice. So. I think we're just gonna go for a tofu scramble on toast because it's nice and it's easy and it's quick. So we're gonna move that. I might also have a bit of hummus because I need to eat this up. It says to eat within two days. It's definitely been more than two days, but it's hummus, so it'll be fine, right? <laughs> Using my favorite tofu. Um, I have some pepper and onion as well that I think I'm gonna chop up. Red pepper and red onion. I don't have like nutritional yeast or anything like that. Maybe I should- <laughs> I was just thinking in my head maybe I should buy some off Amazon but maybe I should stop buying things off Amazon. Also Mark bought kimchi and it's technically Mark's kimchi. He bought my favourite kimchi so I don't know what he expects me to do It's sitting in the fridge because this would go really well with tofu scramble so I think I might steal a bit of this but don't tell him. I did give him a lift to the pub earlier, so... My fridge agrees. I should have some kimchi. Let's get to... Let's get to cooking. First, I'm gonna chop up the red onion and red pepper. This vegetable chopper saves my life on a daily basis. It feels like it defeats the purpose, because I'm gonna, like, chop up the vegetables before putting them in the vegetable chopper. It is what it is. Oh, guys. I can't explain the happiness I feel now that I have a bin. <laughs> and I don't just have a bin liner sitting on the floor over there. Peeling onions is such an annoying task. I wish they could just come like pre-peeled. I'm gonna chop all of like this full pepper and this full onion, but I'm probably not gonna use the full pepper and full onion. But I will like keep the leftovers in a little Tupperware in the fridge so I can kind of sprinkle them onto things throughout the next few days. That's what I like to do. It makes my life 20 times easier. I've like quartered the onion. We'll start with the onion. Oh, that's so satisfying. Now for the red pepper. And there's our chopped red onion and pepper. Woo! Sizzle, sizzle. Next we're gonna add the tofu. I'm gonna cut this in half because we're just gonna use half today. Even the, the tofu packaging says, try tofu scrambled on a bagel. We don't have a bagel today, but it's close enough. I've also just got tofu juice everywhere. <laughs> so now to scramble it, you literally just, you literally just do this. Okay, give that a wee stir. I don't know if it's not going good or not. Taste eggy. 
So this is what she looks like. Um, oh, I'm also gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. A little boop, because that always makes everything better. I'm just waiting on the toast to toast. I think I'm also gonna put hummus onto my toast and maybe more might. Toast. Oh, that's slightly more well done than I would like. Put hummus. I've decided against the Marmite because I'd rather that kimchi was the flavor. I think we're gonna just put the kimchi on the side. A little bit of hot sauce. Yum, there's dinner. Would you like a little taste test? So good. Hi guys, I can't remember last update I gave to you. Did I tell you I was working yet? I don't think I did. I've been working away for the past hour. I want to say. I basically ate my dinner and started working again, but um, I, I've added the couple bits to the method that I wanted to add. I've had a check through and I'm happy with where the method is sitting right now. So where is my to-do list? So yeah, I'm happy with where the method's sitting right now. I'll probably double check it through again before I send it to my supervisors to review. But um, we're gonna move on to the results section now. Also, I'm like doing most of my discussion within the results section as well, because it just flows better i think it's like results and discussion but uh yeah it's freezing cold i might have a little evening snack i've been having the same evening snack for the past few evenings now and i kind of want to show you it so should we make my evening snack together <laughs> i feel like i'm a way to tell you a haunted ghost story in my kitchen but i swear i'm just showing you my evening snack i haven't cleaned up anything for dinner yet so there, there is that as well so let me just What I've been loving as my evening snack recently has been Weedabix. Not even the branded Weedabix either. This cheap ass Morrison Savers Weedabix. To me, it tasted the same. I think it was maybe even less than half the price. So, what I like to do with my Weedabix is we're going to take two Weedabix. Is, if you've never seen Weedabix before, this is Weedabix. I put in two. Then, the fun part. I'm gonna prep my milk in this mug. The milk of choice is gonna be this protein milk. That much milk. The fun part is we banana -fy the milk using banana Nesquik and banana flavor drops for double the banana. Nesquik, and I just kind of put in like a spoonful. Stir that up. We pour it into our wee mix. Like so. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello, we're taking a brief intermission from work to pick up Mark from the pub. We're currently getting food. Well, I say we, Mark's getting food. And then we'll be on our jolly way home. Hello, we're home from our endeavours. The TV is currently on, which is why the colour might change. I know I did just make my evening snack, but we've got donuts. Mark went in and got them from Clark's and he said they were green and I thought he was drunk and lying. <laughs> but he wasn't, because they are actually. They're friggin' green! For St. Patrick's, I believe. I don't know if they have a flavour, but they're green. They're pretty good. I don't think they have a flavour, but they're nice. <laughs> Thank you. 